How to create newsletters in Brevo for beginners. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can create newsletters using this app Brevo. So what you want to do is go into contacts first and for the people that you want to send the newsletters to add all of them into your contacts. You can use a Google form or some sort of form to let people sign up to your newspapers. In contacts, instead of using Google Form, you can also actually straight in Brevo, you can go into forms and create a new subscription form or unsubscription form. Remember to create both so that people can unsubscribe if they don't want to. And you can also update your profile. So in the subscription box, in the subscription form, you can uh, remember to let them choose different options, uh, you give the form name, give the design lists so that uh, they will be added into added into the beauty list, the the uh, sports list, etc. You can go into settings and also customize the informational messages so that um, uh, they will feel you they will actually know what they are subscribing to and also share uh, choose how you would like to share your form either f uh, through you you're not gonna you know have emails if you don't have the otherwise maybe you have the emails that depends and um use this way to do the form instead uh newsletters and also if you can if you have like different types of newsletters like arts beauty sports you can also add different filters or different folders so that you can send into the target audience instead of every single subscriber so after doing dealing with the contact what you want to do is to go into campaign campaigns and click email so there are a lot of other ways that you can send in your your newsletters um the ways i'm going to show is emails you want to create an email campaign. You want to go into here and create an email campaign. Regular campaign name, I'm going to go sample and create campaign. And then you can select your senders, the sender, so the company. Um, you can manage the sender, the recipients, you can add the recipients. So. You can choose the lists if you have lists of let's say again beauty sports you can choose uh, to only send it to a target audience don't send to unengaged contact etc and then you can also after this uh, go into subject give a line for this so what you want to do is give let's say the subject line is going to be the subject of the email and then the preview text so the subject line can be something that is more eye-catching and something that is shorter so um let's say uh oh 50 percent off this week a 50 percent off for mcnugget let's say and that the preview text can be um 50 percent off birthday offer for people that have birthday on uh february something like that And as you can see, uh, there will be the preview in here. You can also use AI to help you make the line fancier. Have off, blah, 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 blah. you can use it or use other prepositions um, or also use your own. Save and you want to design your own email content. So when you start designing, you can go into template gallery, gallery and choose the template that you would want to use. So in here, I am going to go, you can preview the templates before you actually go and click onto this one that I'm going to use. Um, you can customize everything. It is not just the words that you can customize. Obviously, the, the font and stuff, you can customize the pictures you can replace. You can also um, drag different things, move the content up and down and do a lot of things. Customize it completely how you like. So in here, there are a lot of blocks of content that you can add into the originally already existing ones. And uh, you can also save the ones that you like the most so that you'll be able to access them easier. And for the 
uh, content, you can customize it and then you can also style it differently with the template, the color, the body color, um, the text appearance, etc. Uh, you can also save a font to the brand library. So a lot of things after you've done it once, the second, the third time will be a lot easier. And you can also see it in the computer mode, the laptop, the, the desktop mode, and also in a mobile mode. And after you've done all these, the content, remember when you're typing the content, make sure that you know, you are aware that uh, you're aware who your target audiences are, so that you'll be able to actually have content that will value your, that will be valuable, that will help, that will be attractive to your uh, audience. And then after you've done everything, you want to save and quit. And obviously all these, you will have done them by this point. And go into additional settings, see if you want to have any other um, personalized things, sending and tracking, subscribe, etc. Save them. And then what you want to do, you can preview and test. So you can go into here, preview as a customer, so you can see how a customer is going to see the email, and also uh, send a preview, send a test. So you select a recipient and send a test, or you, have, you can add a new test recipient, send a test of the email, you're going to receive it in your email, check it if you like it uh, on your desktop, on your phone. And then you can schedule your email. When you click into schedule, you can obviously send now. Uh, you can also send at best time. So that would be the recommended time for the for, for your email or schedule for later. And you can select the date, the time and schedule it. Once you have scheduled uh, you can you'll be able to see the recipients how many actually opened clicked how many receipts how many unsubscribed uh, you can obviously right now it is not sent but after you've sent you'll be able to see these and you can preview go into more edit duplicate send a test again etc share the template share on social media you can also if you regret sending it or you send the wrong one you can suspend and you will be able to, this is how you'll be able to uh, create your own newsletter using Brevo. Thank you very much for watching.